All right, how about room 92? It's the new reset day, meaning I have to suffer and pull and probably not going to get anything I want. 420. Oh no. Okay. I'm doing five more. Ooh, this game is not making me feel good. So I pulled about five SSRs, I think, since um I started. I'm at 95 pulls now, so I'm one short on the average. Um, will I get screwed here? Probably. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish off that last five to get um to get uh to get 100. 92 was a terrible room. Jesus Christ, I didn't get anything from that. It's a 7 7%. I keep getting 7% 6% mixed up. I keep thinking it's 6% sometimes. I don't know why, but I do. Oh my god, these timers. Oh my god, I swear to god this game is Inventory is getting full. Look how many rows of bullets I have right now. This is from all from buying for like the past, I don't know how many days, but a lot of days. Retrofits, I need to start tossing them in on these uh, blue ships. So, let's cash. I do need to save for uh, pulls, but I think I'm going to spend like maybe a day or two farming 7-2 um, to recuperate maybe. Uh, but I do need to get rid of bullens though, because I have way too many right now. And they're taking up space. It's, it gets inconvenient after a while. I don't know about you guys, but um, probably like two years ago, I did a lot of my farming with like less than 10 dock space. So now I really, really do need dock space right now. And if I don't, it's going to get pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Um, I hope I don't use um, purple bullets over duplicates though. I didn't scroll all the way to the bottom. I hope I don't though. Let's see more here. My god, like I had like what for almost 40 probably like 35 or so now like more than half of them are gone now Which is not bad. I'll take it Tanikaze all these other ships as well. Let's just all right, Let's work on Hammond first I want to use uh, I want to do USS ships because I still need to get a tier 9 or a level 9 on um USS. That's like last last level I'm missing. So let's do another filter. Um, sort by USS. Equal Union. I'm all good here. These are like whatever ships, but hey, I'm all done. All right. Uh, how much money I have right now? 14k. I oh, didn't get any more, so I think I'll stop there. Not bad though. That's a big dump of coins and a big dump of bullions. Down to like what two rows left now, I think. Uh, about one and a half rows. Nine more to go, baby. Oh. Oh no, I need to save coins. Damn it, okay, I really have to farm seven two today. So there's an interesting um fact that I want to talk about. Um we should lose too loud right now. But basically, if you guys don't already know, so tier two faction um metals, you need twenty-four ships at 120 right you also need 2 million exp and you also need 4000 affinity for um whatever faction of ships you're going for now for all of these are easy right sacro empire eagle union and royal navy all really easy right this though iron blood now getting the 120 ships pretty easy 2 million exp very easy 4000 affinity this right here is kind of tricky. I say this because so when you get a ship naturally, right? It comes at it comes at a base of um, 50 affinity. So, for example, Mi Miyoko right here, you get a base of a 50 affinity. So if you get a new ship, it's pretty easy to get the 50 affinity going into that 4,000, right? So. Let's say you get a new Royal Navy ship. Boom. You get a new one. 50 affinity. Right off the bat. Going into the thing. So in this case. What? Royal Navy has like. I don't know. 
I can't do math fast right here. Um, 90-ish ships. Eagle and Union, we're not even going to talk about this. There's a, there's a lot here. Let's say about 120. And the Sacred Empire as well. Probably like another 140 or something here. Now, the thing is, these are the big three factions of the four, right? Iron Blood, though. Let's count. 6, 12... 18, 24, 30, 30, wait, hold up. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Wait, is that right? Oh, it is. Yeah. 36, 37. I think I, wait, did I screw up somewhere? I thought it was like 40 something. Hold up. Wow, they're really. Oh god, that changed my perspective. I thought there was like 41 or 42. Wow, that's even worse. I'm pretty sure I screwed up somewhere though. Hold up. Is it really? Wow, that's awful. Okay, that's even worse. There's 37 ships. And there's 100. And there's, um... 150 per ship, right? And I need... 4,000 affinity. Meaning, even if I 100 affinity every single KMS ship available... I can't get it. I, I can't get this medal. I can't. So how do you do this? You have to ring ships. Because right here, I have FDG ringed. Wait, oh, it doesn't count. It doesn't, oh, it counts priority too. Right. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. There's more. <laughs> I'm being dumb. Um, 37, for, uh, 40, <clears throat> 41. Okay, so never mind. So basically... I have to 100 affinity almost every single ship just to get the tier 2 medal for KMS. That's kind of disgusting. Like 100 affinity. I have ringed FDG, so 200. Another 100. Like every single one of these ships have to be 100 affinity. I think it applies to uh, idle ships as well. But you have to 100 affinity every single one or almost i think like 90 ish could probably work too because i'm i'm just, like right now if you guys haven't noticed i've been secretarying my kms ships right here because i'm gonna farm it that way i'm, I'm not gonna use them in combat but you, you have to 90 plus affinity every single kms ship if you don't plan to ring any specific ones just to get this like imagine if i didn't ring fdg i have to grind this even more it sucked. It's really, really bad. It's, if if they didn't release like any new ships, like say, um, let's say Odin wasn't out. Let's say PR3 was out, right? Mines, Odin wasn't out. And you had to ring ships. You know, that's kind of low-key pay to win. I'm, I'm going to trigger some nerves. And I don't really care if I trigger some nerves. But to get a Tier 2 KMS medal without ringing any ships is basically impossible. Because it takes into unique ships. Meaning, you can't stack like 10 Bismarcks and hope you get a uh, 1,000 affinity that way. It doesn't work that way. It takes unique ships. Yeah. Just, uh, just a little hot fact for you guys that don't know about this already. I, I didn't know about it until like someone told me like a week ago. And then I, I brought it into light today. Yeah, it really sucks. Right, so there's also a, a delay on Operation Sirens. I kind of saw this coming, actually. Um, there's no way they're going to do two big updates in one month. Like, they were planning Guild Update and Operation Sirens in the exact same month. There's no way. Like, I already know this game takes, like, a very long time to get updates. There is absolutely no way they're going to squeeze in two big updates into one month. No way. So, 
uh, initially I was playing for no reruns this month and they're gonna do a new event next month was what I was expecting uh, but because there's no Operation Siren, there is a good possibility they're, they're going to do a rerun this month. So probably Ashen rerun for Baltimore, um, Baltimore ships, whatever those, whatever ships are in those events. So uh, just a precaution for you guys, prepare your cubes, prepare your coins, because there may be a chance that we're getting the rerun this month because there's no Operation Sirens this month because of delay. Time to get daily scammed once again. Um, I can't keep up my coins, man. I gotta, I gotta farm. It's been one week now. Oh, I gotta rush this event, and if I don't get Hanukkah, I gotta start farming a lot. <laughs> it, it's just too hard, dude. I can't get any of the good timers. I think I'm capped on uh storage as well. I need Norfolk. That's four Monicas now, man. Come on. Oh my god, man. A few moments later. Man, this game is so good, dude. I love getting the same goddamn shit all over again. Bye. I hate every single one of you. Don't care. Get out of my face. I don't care. So part of me feels really pressured right now. Um, I did 240 cubes up, up until this point. 120 pulls. Yes, there's a week left. But my state of mind right now is terrible. I farmed. Like the last time I saw my oil, it was like near a cap, right? I farmed for the last 11 hours straight. Of 7-2, I did another multi, like, last clip, and I didn't get it. So, I'm going to do something I haven't done in months now. Yes, you guys guessed it right. I'm doing that thing. That thing that eats up a lot of oil. But you get a lot of money. It just eats up a lot of oil. I don't know who to put in here. Odin. Yeah, we're doing this thing. It costs a lot of oil, but... The oil per coin gain is insane, so. Oh, that's the... <laughs> I, I didn't want to do that. I, I want EXP. Uh, I, I didn't want to do that. あなたがここのこんにちは。Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Headache. Pain. My heater's broken in my house too. It's like 40, 30 degrees right now. I'm freezing. I can't. I got Misaki before I got Hanukkah too. Holy fuck. <sighs> My hands and feet are too cold to feel anything right now. And it's 2 in the morning. Done with this fucking event. Now, because I've got Hanukkah, I did say in my Discord that if I got her within 300 cubes, 
and I spent 280 unless I miscalculated um, that I would buy a dead or alive skin. Now, I don't know which one as of yet. I've been very, very hard contemplating on which one I want. There's many good choices, many good choices. So my initial thought was either I was going to get Kasumi or Tengu's, which are both pretty good. But now I kind of want to get Hanukkah because, my gosh, she was like a bitch and a half to get. I'm not even going to lie. Um, in terms of usefulness, I think Hanukkah is like the best. She's like an Arizona, so she can heal as a battleship. But I don't know when I'm going to level up collab ships, honestly. I was working on Fubuki until like 95, and then I was like, oh, her her dive bombers doesn't clear projectiles. So I had to stop that. Speaking of which, stop leveling up your Fubukis because she doesn't clear projectiles. Um, I think the choice here, the best choice here, there is no best choice. I kinda wanna get all of them, but <laughs> I, I can't, I need to save my gems, I really do. Um, You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. Dumb girl took me 280 cubes to get. I don't know how many coins that is, but that could have been used on research. But it's okay. We finally got her. I don't have to worry about Gatch anymore. Just got far up this event, and next up on our list is the fun, good old EX fight whenever I get around to it.